We've got to be a factor. We've got to make sure that we grow this industry in a way that takes and makes South Africa a better country. We need a strategy which will seek to position the mining industry along a new trajectory of sustainable growth and meaningful transformation. This strategy presents a long-term and holistic plan to ensure that the economy is able to fully benefit from the country's mineral base. Stakeholders have agreed to establish and integrated long-term infrastructure planning mechanisms for the mining sector. It's a very important step that's been taken today and the important thing about it is that it's a, in a sense, a joint venture uh, between the government, labour and business. I'm going to criticise it for being a corporatist approach but the big change is in the past the DMR, the Department of Mineral Resources, has simply told mining companies what to do through legislation or through regulations and this is the first time I think since the mining charter was agreed back in those difficult days in 2002 that the, the key players in the industry including labour have got together and agreed a way forward for the industry. It's the most significant aspect from my perspective as a regulatory lawyer operating in this industry is a very clear commitment both in this document and by the Minister today that uh, the MPRDA, the Mineral Petroleum Resources Development Act, will be substantially amended uh, during the course of 2011, during the parliamentary session next year, to give effect to the agreement which is reflected here. And one of the, I think, very important things that this document recognises is that the architecture of the MPRDA, not just its implementation, uh, is defective. So there's now an admission by everybody, including the government, that they need to go back to the drawing board and fix the issues in the Act, which I've been concerned about for years, like a ministerial discretion, like lack of compulsory time periods for licensing provisions, things like that. We want to see change everywhere. As NOM, I want to join you by saying that the delay was painful, but at last I believe that as we sign, was signing committed to walk the talk so that we don't come back and say again, we can't do it. South Africa is identified as having the largest in-situ resource value of any country in the world. Our mineral deposits are estimated by Citibank, a most reputable financial institution, to be worth 2.5 trillion US dollars. In US dollar value, Russia and Australia are rated a distant second to South Africa. Both have an estimated in situ resource value of 1.6 trillion US dollars. Looking back, we all acknowledge that things were not as we all uh, expected them to be. Uh, we have not achieved uh, transformation to the extent to the depth and to the level that we expected. We know that something has happened and that also in terms of competitiveness, we we're not as competitive as we actually wanted to be as a country. And, and the important thing was then that um, we had to, to ensure that we come up with a, a strategy that we were, were going to set us on a path to sustainable development and growth and also to thoroughgoing um, transformation. The only thing, uh, Minister and stakeholders, that I think mm -hmm. um, was a major a missing point in this is that we did not involve the financial institutions.